Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto, and welcome to a new video on uh, on Ethereum. Wanted to do a full update on it uh, on it today for for two reasons, and that's first of all some news, which um, I don't have ready for you, but I'll I'll make sure to to to, to get to that very soon. Uh, but no, we we got to some um, we got some news that we might see the Ethereum ETF much sooner. Um, so if you look at Eric Balchunas, which uh, w which works for, for Bloomberg, is a senior ETF analyst. What he says is that we're moving our uh, uh, over-under date for the launch of Spot Ether ETF to July the 2nd. Um, so yeah, they already sent uh, comments on the S1s. The S1s you need, th th those, like all the ETF issuers need to send the S1 documents um, <clears throat> to the to the SEC to actually get the the, the ETF listed. Um, what they had back in in May was was more of a that they are able to list it, right? So that, that they actually change the rules so that an Ethereum ETF is is, is possible. The S one is actually getting them listed, so that's good. And then uh, this morning, what we saw is that if you look at Ethereum against Bitcoin, that actually uh, no, this is not that. First of all, we found a very significant support level right here, and you can also see. Um, that we broke the downtrends that we were in since the start of June because we were very very strong obviously after the news, but that that dissipated rather quickly uh, in June. So we broke out above that. There is some relative strength. Bitcoin dominance dropped down. Uh, now I must say that that has already uh, gone back up quite a bit, but we're getting some bullish signs here. All right, you can also see some. Um, quite a quite a few bullish divergences here, which if you look at the, the bearish divergences here, that actually work relatively well. So if we see a relatively strong uh, Ethereum against Bitcoin, that's also interesting for Ethereum itself. So that's why I wanted to cover it, even though these videos usually don't get that many views. But still, like I said, I think it's important news, not only for Ethereum, uh, but also for the crypto markets, for Ethereum beta coins. So that's why we're doing a full analysis. Now, the, the problem is, is that today is the weekend, of course. Um, moves in the weekend, I tend to trust a little bit less. All right. So, for example, what you see over the course of, of, of this morning is that the momentum uh, increased quite a bit, but it's, it's very mixed. Like we also got some major short positions being opened, um, especially... Like you, you can see the open interest, so the amount of open positions went up by $500 million. But then you look at the CVD, which is this, this blue line, which basically means in which direction the volume is going. And that's relatively flat, I would say. Um, so, that's, uh, so that's something I'm, I'm worried about a little bit. On the other hand, if you, if you look at it like this, you can see some sort of a bullish divergence here. Um, so that's great to see. So it's it's not fully it's, it's it's not fully bearish. I actually think it's it's more bullish than bearish. Um, but in the end, we are still trending down, right? We had a we had a major bearish breakout yesterday again, or not yesterday, excuse me. Um, but we had some 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 major bearish breakouts uh, last week, and that's basically this entire level right here, uh, between thirty six hundred fifty and thirty five hundred seventy five. Uh, which is also the main resistance level we hit uh, earlier this morning with that bullish momentum. So I think Ethereum fundamentally has potential. I think technically what we're doing is quite good. Um, and then fundamentally, again, our, our, uh, the strength against Bitcoin is, is good as well. But I need more technical confirmation to really tell you that we're going to be bullish. So for now, I think there's a realistic chance we turn bullish. But I need to see, first of all, more momentum and especially some sort of a breakout right here above 3,600. If we're able to get that, which like I said, it's, it's realistic, but I, I, I'm not going to assume we do that. Um, but it's realistic if we do that, then we can actually see some sort of bullish momentum up to 3,800, 3,900. Um, and then we're consolidating here. Then we could also try to take out 4,000, but that's, that's something for, for the future. Um, so this is possible, but keep your eyes on 3,600. All right, for now, I think it's, I think it's better to assume we're not going to break out. We're going to hold resistance. And at least for this weekend, we're just going to consolidate down here. Um, so that's what I think you need to know. All right. If you do have any questions, then of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.